Any of my beeswax what you do for a living? Right here. No kidding. Well, there's a coincidence, because I was just sitting over there wishing I could write, because I thought up one hell of a story. There's this American, see? And he's been living in Germany so long, he's practically a German himself. He writes plays in German. He's married to a beautiful German actress. He knows a lot of big shot Nazis who like to hang around theater people. So this fella knows there's a war coming. He figures America's going to be on one side, Germany's going to be on the other. So this American, who's been nothing but polite to the Nazis up to now, decides to pretend he's a Nazi himself. And he stays on in Germany once the war comes and gets to be a very useful American spy. Who are you? Well, wait a minute. This gets better. There may be a moot point. R.W. Campbell has once again escaped without a train. Why doesn't the government come forward and say this man you're spitting on is a hero? You want me to be a Nazi? You go ahead. You classify me as a Nazi. Even if you were a spy, you could never have served the enemy as well as you served us. Only ideals that make me proud of being a Nazi they came not from Hitler, not from Goebbels, but from you. Listen! Don't! Listen. You have to write down your memoirs for the Haifa Institute for the Documentation of War Criminals. You have three weeks to complete your memoirs before your trial begins. Do you have any questions? No. I, Howard W. Campbell, Jr., I'm an American by birth, a Nazi by reputation, and a nationless person by inclination. I am awaiting a fair trial for my war crimes by the state of Israel.